Hi everyone, it's Kathy. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'll be sharing how to create a Z Fold card and I'll also share how to add some polka dots and plaid to the super cute unicorn from the new Unicorn Kisses stamp set. I'll also be using the new Boca paper pad, as well as the stitched and pierced circle dies. Here's a look at what the cards look like when they're finished. I am only going to share how I created the card with the purple unicorn because I did the same thing with the green unicorn. The only thing that I did different was I used the tartan plaid background stamp to add the texture. And on the purple one, I used the lots of dots background stamp. So I started out by stamping this super cute little unicorn onto a piece of Cougar Super Smooth cardstock, and I did some very, very simple coloring. I just colored the whole unicorn using V quadruple zero. The next thing that I did off camera was I stamped the unicorn onto a piece of scratch paper so that I could create a couple of different masks. I wanted to mask off the horn, his eyes, the wings, his tail, and his hooves. The cutting out the masks was pretty easy to do and I didn't want to use a whole sheet of masking paper which is why I used just a piece of regular printer paper and then to create the mask I used my Zig 2A glue pen and let it dry. The nice thing about the Zig 2A glue pen is that if you let it dry completely before putting it on your project, it does become a temporary adhesive. The next thing I did was I inked up the Lots of Dots background stamp with some purple ink. Then I placed my cardstock on top of the stamp and used a piece of scratch paper to rub on the back to make sure the ink transferred really well. Next, I removed all of the masks and as you can see, I don't end up with polka dots on his horn or in his eyes, on his hooves or his tail. I decided that I wanted to add a little bit of shading so I came in with my C1 marker and just added a little bit in the areas where it would be the darkest. So on either side of his front legs and down his sides and underneath his little chin there. Then I came back in with the V quadruple zero marker and did another coat of that just to darken it up a little bit. And I also went over the C1 marker just to blend it out a little bit. Then I added a little bit more shading on his face again with the C1 marker and I did blend that out one more time with the V quadruple zero marker. For his bangs and his tail I just used a couple of different purple markers and I'll make sure to have all of the colors that I used as well as all the products that I used listed in the description box below for you. For his hooves, I did leave the coloring in for that because I wanted to share how I got the highlight. I just started out with C7 and I colored from the outside of the hooves in towards the center. And then for his back hooves, I started with the C7 at the bottom and went up to the top. Then I blended out with BV25 and then I finished up with BV23 to blend all of that out. For his wings and his horn, the coloring was very simple. I just used a couple of BG markers for his wings and a couple of Y markers for his horn. After I was done with the coloring, I decided to fussy cut this little guy. For me, what I like to do is cut a lot of the background off so that I have a smaller piece of cardstock to work with. And another trick is instead of turning my scissors, I turn my cardstock and I don't cut all the way down with my scissors. I'm just doing like tiny little cuts as I go around the image. I also went around the edge after I had fussy cut him with a brush tip black marker just to clean up some of the not so perfectly cut edges. Moving on, to create the Z Fold card, you'll start with a piece of cardstock that measures five and a half by eight and a half. You'll score at two and one eighth and four and one quarter. Then you'll fold on the score line at four and one quarter like you would for a regular A2 size side folding card. Then at the score line that was at two and one eighth, you're gonna fold that in the opposite direction so it pulls out towards the left. And that's how you create the card base. To add the patterned paper, I grabbed a piece of cardstock from the new Boca patterned paper pack and I cut it to five and three eighths of an inch. Then I turned the cardstock and I cut it at four and one eighth of an inch. That way I'll have a small little white border that goes all the way around the card. One thing to pay attention to is 
when you cut the patterned paper at four and one eighth, you want to make sure that the orientation is correct. You'll notice that I had turned my cardstock upside down, and that was just to make sure that the bokeh pattern lined up when I had the card closed. Next, I adhered the thinner strip to the smaller panel on the left-hand side, and then I adhered the other panel on the inside of the card. Of course, I had to add a whole bunch of foam tape to the back side of my little unicorn. And after I had all the foam tape on there and removed the release paper, I adhered that to the front of a circle that I die cut from white cardstock using the stitched and pierced circle dies. When I adhered the unicorn on the front of the card, I only put adhesive on the left side of the circle because had I put it all over the back of the circle, I would have glued my card shut, which is not what I wanted to do. To adhere the circle on the inside of the card and make sure that it was lined up, I put a little bit of temporary adhesive on the back side of the front circle, placed the inside circle on top of the temporary adhesive, and then closed the back of the card and pressed down really well to transfer the circle to the inside of the card. The problem is that somehow it shifted when I closed the card, so I had to remove it and do it a second time. But it was pretty easy to lift it off because I didn't burnish the adhesive into the inside of the circle. To finish it up, I arranged the sentiments from the Unicorn Kisses stamp set onto an acrylic block and used VersaFine Onyx Black ink to stamp the sentiment on the inside. And the final touches, of course, I had to add some shimmer and glitter to my little unicorn, so I used my Wink of Stella glitter pen and went over his horn and his wings. And that finishes up my first card. So for the green unicorn, I did the exact same technique, the only difference, as I mentioned. Instead of using the Lots of Dots background stamp, I used the Tartan Plaid background stamp instead. And here's another look at both of the cards. Thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you've not yet subscribed, we'd love it if you would. And don't forget to ring the bell so you're notified every time a new video is posted. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.